10 plus must have essentials for you to take on your cruise. I'm Kimberly. I'm Brad. And we are Midlife Crazy. <laughs> hey everybody, so as we said in the trailer, this is gonna be 10 plus essentials, must have essentials to take on every cruise. So the countdown's begun. We have um, actually 29 days uh, until we cruise on the Carnival Breeze. So what we're gonna show you today are things that we bring along with us um, that maybe you haven't thought of and things that we've discovered along the way as well um, that help us with storage in our cabin, um, that help us when we're out on excursions, um, that help us you know, as far as if there's ever an emergency on the ship, God forbid, um, and some basic things that sometimes people don't think about bringing. So we're gonna show you with that. So. Without further ado, we're gonna start off with the uh, first item, which is kind of a unique item, and that's why I'm starting with it. So um, this because is- Because you're unique. Because I am unique, that's yes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so first item we have. So tell them, honey, what is that? So this is actually a safe. And this is a safe that you can bring on an excursion, especially if you're going to a beach and you're gonna be lounging on a beach or by a pool. Um, and you can put your valuables inside of here and then this little loop will open up like so, like so. Like so. Did you lock it? <laughs> I locked it. <laughs> <laughs> At least you know it works. Like so. Blooper, blooper, Boom. blooper. <laughs> <laughs> like that. So, and then when you uh, open it up on the inside, you can see there's the inside, and this is really cool for, um, you know, putting your passports in, your phone, any valuables, any cash, anything like that can go in the safe, and then that loop. Your sale and sign card when you're exactly, going in the ocean. Exactly, so then yeah. this loop, you can hook this around a lounge chair, because that way, if they're gonna steal this, they're gonna have to steal the entire lounge chair to take it with them. That would be a pretty funny sight, though. So, about it. Um, this is something that we found uh, on Amazon, and, and honestly, pretty much everything that you're gonna see today, uh, we found on Amazon. At some point, we're gonna have um, a link to all this stuff, so you can just go directly from our uh... we'll create an Amazon store exactly that's what I was trying to say I got it for him yeah. I got his back that's right so um, next item which kind of follows in suit with this because I was telling you this is a great place to put your your passports and sale and sign card and any cash that you bring um, one of the things that we do with our Can passports yeah please I got it one of the things that we do with our passports is um, we put them in little cases like this um, helps protect them um, and uh, as I said you can take these passports when you're out on an excursion you can pop them right inside the uh, little portable safe. safe so inside these oh tell them the little feature honey that they're the kind that they can't be scanned yes exactly she's right they cannot be scanned so they've got that anti-scanning technology so um, they can't like scan your credit card numbers or anything from the outside of these hmm where did you get it Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. So if you open it up, you can see inside here, um, you can put your credit cards in here. It's got a little place for, for cash or you know anything you want to put in there. And then your passport just uh, fits right inside here like that. <laughs> These are must-haves. So these are these are, and they're all different kinds out there. Um, this one I just happen to like it because. It came in pink as well. Of course. Um, and they're like little billfolds, so you don't have to necessarily take a wallet. And I would suggest that you don't take a wallet. Yeah, I don't take, when I go on vacation, I don't take my wallet. Um, I just take this. I don't take my driver's license unless I'm planning on driving someplace. You know, if exactly. we have an excursion or something to do that requires driving. Um, but if we don't, I don't even take my driver's license. I just take my passport. But tell them what we do take as a precautionary um, when we travel, which would be the next right. essential item. So the to next have. item we're going to show you is something that we do for for all of our cruises, all of our vacations. As a matter of fact, is we have a dun, 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 dun. <laughs> ah no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right in front of my face. Ah, it's a vacation <laughs> document uh, file. So this is where we put all of our vacation documents. 
uh, go inside here. Um, maybe to some of you it might seem a little bulky, but it's really not. It folds up and you can slide it in a backpack mm -hmm. or you know, something like that. So my little tote bag I'm gonna bring. Right, so in here we have all the cruise documentation, um, such as, uh, you know, boarding passes. Uh, in here as well, we have in, our flight documents. Transportation. Hotel reservation What's because we're staying overnight. What's the important overnight. thing that we bring though? So, but the most important thing, and it follows right up with the passports, is uh, what we do, and I would suggest that anybody do this. I think it's back here, honey. Oh, it's in docs. the middle, sorry. Legal under legal docs. Docs. That's there. right, legal docs. So. Is take copies of anything that you're bringing with you right. on the cruise. Um, as far as like your passports, your credit cards that you're going to take, take front and back, um, your insurance cards, and just so you know, your FSA, if anybody doesn't know what that is, a flex spending account, sometimes um, employers will have it um, tied to your medical benefits. If you do have an FSA account, take that with you too, because you may be able to use that to if there's any emergency and you may be out of pocket any money. So, absolutely. So we take copies of our passports. Um, we take copies of any of the credit cards that we're going to be bringing as well. Yep. Um, because uh, you know people go, well, why do you do that? Well, it's pretty simple. The fact is, is if you're off the ship and for some reason you did not bring your passport and for some reason you missed the ship, um, <laughs> you may need a copy of your passport or. Um, the it other reason, stolen. if your passport were to get stolen while you were out in a port, um, you, there would be no way for you to get back in the United States unless you had that copy yep. or whatever country you might be from. So, yep. um, next item on the list, it's kind of a, a, a bundle pack. And if you saw our Dollar Tree, uh, challenge, Brad and his bundle packs, I like to bundle things together, <laughs> but this, this stuff really does all go together. So it really has to do with, with communication and note taking and things like that. So. Um, what we bring along is we always bring some post-it notes with us, Easy. right? So that we can leave uh, notes for each other or leave notes for the uh, the cabin steward. Um, a notepad, uh, because when you're midlife like us, you forget stuff all the time. <laughs> so especially um, when we're vlogging, if there's a certain thing I don't want to remember to mention or anything, I write it down in the uh, right. the notepad. Highlighters. Um, simply because you can highlight things in your uh, your newsletter that you get every day. And I like these ones because they're smaller, right. so, they're so they're easier they're, to highlight. Yep. Yeah. So we, we take those. Yes. Uh, the Sharpies. For notes. Black and pink. Hers is black, mine is pink. No, it's not. Mine's pink. <laughs> right, black and pink uh, for, for the notes. And then this is actually something new that we're bringing this year. Um, and that is a dry erase board. It's a magnetic dry erase board, so it'll actually stick to this, the wall of the cabin. Yeah, and it's got little magnets. And it's got magnets if you want to post and stuff on it. And it's got pins on the back. And it's got these pins also are magnetic, so they'll stick to the whiteboard. So um, this is good for leaving notes, but more importantly, when we do our um, daily recaps, our pillow talk recaps, it's going to give us... Um, a reference we can just kind of write down bullet points of, of things that we want to talk so about. So we don't ramble on. Right. And so we don't forget, <laughs> more importantly. So uh, next thing on the list, gonna gonna kind of go through some of the electronics that we bring um, other than the camera equipment. That's going to be a whole separate video. That you'll do all on your own. Exactly. I know uh, nothing about that. Of all the different camera equipment that we bring, microphones and, and things like that to um, to make the vlog. So other than that, one of the things that I find quite essential. Mr. Music here. That's right, I'm a big fan of music. Um, is This is called a JBL Flip and you don't have to buy a flip, but there's it's literally- It's just a Bluetooth speaker. speaker. Just right. take a Bluetooth speaker. Right, so- um, But note, if you have Spotify, Download your playlist to your device that you'll be using. Absolutely. Because you can't, you don't want to pay for all those um, data fees on the boat. So download your playlist. That would be a lot of money. Yeah. So download your playlist, <laughs> and then you can connect it to the um, Bluetooth speaker. And Brad's playlist is like thousands of songs. There's a lot of there's a lot so of songs on it. So it's, it's we don't hear anything hardly ever more than twice. But we're 14 days, so we might hear it a couple, maybe three or four times. Right. So this, this, so this is great. It's uh, if you want to have music in your cabin. Yep. Um, other than the music they play on the on the TV. Okay. Okay. What do you got next? 
What do I got next? Another piece of electronic equipment that's pretty essential. Dun, 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 dun. Is a clock. This is four forty six. Is it four forty six? It is not four forty. It is four forty six <laughs> in Galveston, Texas. There you go. <laughs> which is um, the last time we used this was the last time we went on a cruise. It's still set on uh, Central Time, Central United States time, um, which is a good thing. We won't have to change Real it. Real simple. It, it, you just flip it and it just sits on one of the. Uh, yeah, it sits. Nightstands. Sits, Very good. Sits just like this. What so, else do you got there, mister? So, um, protection for your electronics. These are pretty simple. Two little Never bags. Never leave the home without protection. That's right. That's <laughs> what my mom always used to say. <laughs> um, so, these, you can just pop your cell phones inside of these. Um, they, they're they supposed to be waterproof. Um, to be honest with you, we've never taken them in the water. We more do it. So, if we're at the beach, yes. um, we put them in here to protect them from the sand more than anything. Yep. So, um, they're not very convenient to use while the phone's in there. It's just for protection against water and or sand. It's mainly for the beach or pool area. That's right. Exactly. Okay. And then, this is really an essential on a cruise essential. nowadays because... Um, most cruise lines are now getting away from um, letting you bring power strips on. I would the, uh, I would venture to say they won't let you bring a power strip. Yeah, most cruise lines won't anymore. So, but they will let you bring basically is a charging station. They will let you bring a like a multi plug. Um, Where single, is your plug? Uh, it's in the other room. Oh, he has a multi plug. Hang on one second. That's an essential. It is, and I totally forgot it. So. Through the magic of editing, we're going to be back in one second. You're going to be back in one second. And we're back just like that. So. You are you should be bewitched. You just went, blinked your eyes and you were back. David Copperfield. No, I like Samantha. David Go ahead. Copperfield. <laughs> so, before I get to the charging station, this is actually what we plug the charging station into. So, this is not a power strip. This is just a single unit that you can plug in. It's got three plugs right here. So, and then it's also got two USB ports right here. Yep. So ultimately when you combine it with this charging station, which has um, six- It's an octopus. Outlets. Six, don't octopus have eight legs? I don't no, know, but it looks like, legs. it looks anyway. like. Well, we add the two and you got eight. Anyway, and essentially you've got uh, eight USB outlets because I don't know about you, but most everything that I have plugs into a USB port. We use this to plug in <laughs> cameras, camera batteries, yep. um, iPod, uh, iPads, you Honey, know, things like we that. we want to make so. the video. I got it. Okay. <laughs> She's rushing Time me. Time management. She's rushing me. So I'm not rushing him. So next thing that we have is things that we bring just in case of an emergency. Yes. So uh, first thing. Gotta have it. Gotta have duct tape. Seriously, I know it sounds ridiculous, but bring it. But you bring duct tape. Never you never know. know. You never know. Duct tape is versatile. It can be used for a lot of different things. So bring, bring some duct tape. Next thing, essential, bring a first aid kit. And we bring a full. A first full first aid kit. kit. This first aid kit on Amazon, by the way. Um, is full. We don't. We don't have to show them all that. It's stuff. full. I mean, it's full. Band aids. Heat we pads. could do surgery. Literally, you could if you had to do surgery with this. You could. You could give stitches with it. Actually, there's a stitch <laughs> stitching kit um, in here. So we bring that um, just in case because you never know. Be prepared. All right. Um, we bring a flashlight. Actually, we bring a couple flashlights. I've only got one right here. The Flash, light. Bring a flashlight. I mean, just in case the ship did lose power and you lost light. Uh, and then also we bring um, a glow stick, just a breakable glow stick that will not be for the 80s that neon only, glow party. That's an emergency this glow stick. This is an emergency stick. glow stick. It's um, super, super bright. Okay. okay. Next thing we bring that has to do with health and well-being. This is our new This is, our this new is a new secret. discovery. Um, that uh, we found, and I think we mentioned it in one of our other videos, yes. just a brief uh, a mention of it, but this is called Banana Bag. And um, Banana Bag, basically it's a super high potent vitamin uh, formula that is going to help you get hydrated. See, what we mentioned in our video before is we were gonna drink the wine and then test it out. I know. We didn't have the wine, we didn't have time, sorry. So yeah, they, they literally just came, these just came today. Um, but I did actually try one of these earlier today, um, so I run a lot, and um, are you I... running from somebody? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. She's standing pretty close. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. That's running too. <laughs> so um, I do run, and um, today I actually woke up and I didn't run because I was really, really, really sore. Um, and I tried one of these, and believe it or not, within about 30 minutes, um, the majority of the soreness was gone out of my legs. So, which means that basically the, the, it does hydrate you for sure. And what we, re- we really didn't get it for that, honestly. What we really got it for was we heard it is great at curing a hangover. Just in case. Just in case. Um, <laughs> you have a hangover, um, but we heard that it is phenomenal. You can drink it within 20 minutes. You don't feel like you have a hangover anymore. So, we're going to take it on this cruise ship. And if one of us has a hangover, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll let you know how it works. Never fails. He's the one. <laughs> All right. Uh, next thing. Carabiners. So when people go, carabiners? Yes, carabiners. Carabiners are just a great thing to have, um, you know, because if you've got a hat and you want to take it off and you don't want to hold it in your hand, you can just clip it to your backpack or whatever you Water want to do bottle. with it. Water bottle. You can use that to clip it on there. Um, it's good for shore excursions mainly. Yeah, it's not on the ship, but if you're on a shore excursion yeah. for clipping, if you've got a camera bag you want to clip to your backpack, you've got a camera you want to clip to your backpack, whatever it is, these come in really, really handy. Um, they, they're so versatile, multi, multi-use thing. And there's a pink one in there. And, and yes, <laughs> there's a pink one in there, right? So next thing. Oh, these are really cool. So cool. these are cool. Um, you know, if... if um, Where are this, the, the, the attachments? They're right there. Oh, let me get those. So what these are is these are luggage tags. Um, for you, those of you who have been on a cruise before, you're, you're, you're certainly well aware of, of what these are and how they want you to attach them is to fold them and then wrap them around and staple them and all that. And they end up getting ripped off your bag and so on and so forth. So these are actually um, little uh, plastic sleeves. So hold your... So you can Luggage fold it tags. and put it in there, and then they come with a metal ring, which is important because some of them come with plastic rings. And don't they, get those. Don't get those. They will. Get they, the metal ones. The, uh, under enough strain, they'll break. So you can attach these uh, to your luggage when you get on the ship. and um, You won't them. have to staple it or anything like that. You don't like have to, you don't have to nice. fold it 35 times. So It's really, really nice. Really good. So, the last, Almost done, Mr. Ryan. Yeah, the last thing that I'm going to show you. And this is a must because he's married to me. Yeah, if 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 it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have one of these. Well, you might, but he needs it. So, this <laughs> is a luggage scale. Yay! So this is pretty simple. Connect your luggage, and it will hang. Pull the luggage up; it'll hang down. Once it has the weight, you'll hear a little beep, and it tells you how much the luggage weighs. So if you're concerned about having a bag over 50 pounds. <laughs> Because you're flying, um, this will help you to not exceed your 50-pound weight limit. Comment below if you think I'm going to make that challenge. <laughs> and we're not, I'm not going to cheat. It's going to be the one shot he's going to weigh it. And let's see what I get. Because I've been paring down a lot. And then he counted my shoes. And then, okay. We'll see. 11 we'll pairs see. of shoes. He's counting flip-flops. I don't count flip-flops. El- 11 pairs of shoes. Is that it, honey, on your That's side? That's it for me. Let's turn it over to the lovely Vanna White. Ta-da! Would you like a vowel? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Okay, so we're going to start doing more of the interior cabin type of things. Um, you know, the fun stuff, the girly stuff. So, anyway, to start off, we have um, Lysol disinfectant wipes. These are really important. Um, highly recommend them. They're, most ships are very, very clean. They clean the cabins really well, but you never could be too careful. Neurovirus. So, yes. So when you get on the ship, when you get into your cabin, first thing you want to do is wipe down all the tops, the countertops, the phone. Wipe down the phone as well. So we always bring those with us. And part of that being safe and healthy is hand sanitizer and we have this one with the caribbean what we could put attached to your backpack or my purse and so hand sanitizer will be bringing a jumbo one for our suite also we like to bring is our own soap this goes into the bathroom because i 
I don't like those bar no, soaps. Bar They're soap. gross. No. So we're going to bring our own hand soap and got some Lysol disinfectant spray to go. So this is always good. I'll spray this around the toilet area before we use it. So there we go. That's our safety, our sanitizing things. Okay. Must have. You have to bring this with you. This is Downy Wrinkle Releaser. And it doesn't get out all the wrinkles, but it does help. So bring these with you. Especially because of the, I mean, the humidity itself will help with wrinkles, and then you combine it with the wrinkle releaser. It does a pretty good job. Okay, then we got some lanyards. Pause. Let me help me. I, I've only got one hand. So we've got some lanyards that are twisted up. We got some lanyards. Don't forget your lanyards. He's I'm, gonna... I'm not going to attempt to get this undone until after we're done. Well, we got fancy. I got fancy lanyards. She's got these fancy uh, bling bling lanyards and this I got lanyard. this one. Um, yeah, we got this one last year. And then Bradford just has the regular lanyard. Just a lanyard. <laughs> okay. So what else do we have? All right. We have some laundry essentials. I always bring an emergency sewing kit. Very important. You never know when that button's going to fall off and you're going to need to sew it. Hate, we hate to do that on formal night. We have the um, the shout um, wipe and go. So these are like tied sticks. So always bring those. Okay, so that way you can wear your clothes over. You don't have to bring so many, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, also, we have hampers, pop-up hampers. This is really crucial in keeping the cabin organized. Um, I got a black one for Brad and a pink one for me. And um, Last time we only used one. I think we did, but this time we're going to use two because we're on a 14-day cruise. So his stuff's going to go in his bag and my stuff's going to go in the big bag. Otherwise, your laundry room's getting piled up in the, yeah. in the room then, or in the closet. The, one of the other things that we like to bring is a lint brush because, you know, when you're going out to dinner, you're spending the time to get dressed up. You don't want a bunch of lint, right? Or dog hair. No, you know the, a dog. You know those dogs on shifts <laughs> yeah, are right. running rampant. A <laughs> lint brush. <laughs> All right, so we're almost done. Uh, Brad and I like to bring is an extra duffel bag and this is in case um, well I shouldn't say in case. In case she buys more clothes. <laughs> no this is for when we go shopping together or if we need more room we have an extra bag with us that's pretty compact and we could just pop this big bad boy open and take it home with us so. All right. Oh, the good part, the smelly stuff. The smelly stuff. I always bring a bottle of room freshener. So this is Mrs. Meyer's Honeysuckle. I like a fresh smelling room. And when you're on a ship and you're around the water and the humidity, it can get very musty and mildewy smelling. So this is really important. Of course, we talked about this in our Dollar Tree haul. This is our bathroom spray. Got to have the, the poo-poo. Poo-pourri spray. The poo-pourri spray. And then we also bring um, a scent like a uh, room deodorizer that just stays open. We're going to bring two this time, one for each week. We both got them at the Dollar Tree Hall, so. That's right. <laughs> All right. And then, of course, must have your towel clips. Very important. Towel clips are very towel important. Towel clips. If... In fact, we bring a, a set each, and then we have a spare set just in case. Yeah, because your towel, uh, if you've never been out on the deck by the pool, it can get rather breezy okay. and your towel will blow right off of the uh, right off the chair. So. All right, and then don't forget, you, you want to bring your magnets or, or your suction cups um, for the bathrooms or your magnets for the walls to hang up, you know, your, um, what are those, cruise news, the cruise news, yeah, I don't remember and what it's then called menus and things like that. So really, really important. And don't forget the magnetic hooks. You want to get the big ones like these. The ones that are like, they're, they're rated to hold at least 40 pounds right. a piece because um, if you get small ones, they don't, they don't hold heavy stuff. These things hold heavy stuff. Right, and these, uh, there's 10 in this grouping right here and we find that this is plenty. So, and then the one thing I love to bring, honey, you might have to hold this up because of my owie on my thumb. I hurt myself. <laughs> so this is the room organizer, and this isn't an. It can be an over the door like shoe holder, but we use the magnets and put them up on the ceiling, 
And then we use them to place all of our stuff that we bring. This is where we put all the stuff is yeah. in this and it just hangs on the wall so it takes so up absolutely no, no room No room at all. whatsoever. And if you look at one of our other vlogs, you'll see this in that other vlog from yeah, last From our year. last cruise, you'll see it up. And then on this cruise as well, we'll do another room tour with all the stuff in the room so and you this, can see how we use it. Where is this from, honey? We should tell them. From Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. So you want to get, you don't want to get the one that has like the, the one that's like a curtain that you can hang with these little tabs on it, that's what you want to get. Right? Exactly. Right. Exactly. Sorry, I'm a little awkward with my owie. <laughs> so those are the 10 plus items, and quite honestly, I don't know how many there are, but it's more than 10, <coughs> um, that we find essential um, to make our um, life a little bit easier, you know, especially in a, in a cabin, because again, they're not super big. No. Um, so the more room that you can make uh, you know, on the floor, uh, the better off you are. And we are trying out some other items this trip that we're not including in the essentials because we're not quite sure if they're going to work yet. So once we try them out and we find that they work, then we'll include it with our essentials. So our essentials might go 15 plus essentials. Yeah, it might. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're going to try out a few new things and, and see um, if they work, if they're effective, and then we'll report back after the cruise on those as well. Um, that's it for us. Yeah, that's it. We've got a couple upcoming videos to look forward to. Um, we've got, I'm going to do a camera bag video, basically show yes. you uh, uh, what we take as far as um, camera equipment and all the accessories that go along with it. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it's another huge bag. Um, of stuff. Um, we're going to do a uh, packing video where we're going to show you um, how if we Kimberly pack. Kimberly made it Did or Kimberly not. Kimberly make it or not, but we're going to show you, you know, some, some tips on packing and how to get a lot of clothes into, into a small space. Our toiletry bag, what we bring as far as our toiletry bag goes. Um, we're really trying hard not to have that extra bag, but it's 14 we're days we're and we're it. we're not sure if we're going to be able to do it without the little extra yeah, so, bag. So, so we'll show you we'll show you what we put in there as far as you know medicines and all the different things you should bring as far as um, gastrointestinal. <laughs> hey, <laughs> um, if, be eating. if you're interested in fashion, don't forget to check my Stitch Fix out. I mean, I got a big owie from doing it today, so you know, blood, sweat, and tears for sure. Um, so check that out today. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe our um, channel. We really appreciate it. Honey, give a shout out to some of our new subscribers. So a couple of new subscribers that came on board with us this week. Uh, Christine, I'm really happy to have you on board. Thanks for watching. And uh, Dre, who is, uh, I believe, Brittany's husband. Yes. Uh, and they're going actually on the cruise, um, the same cruise as us. So. Um, just by happenstance they found us and uh, hi Brittany hi Dre hi Christine <laughs> so thanks for subscribing again like she said if you if you like this video if you found it beneficial subscribe like hit the bell so share you'll share hit the bell so you'll see the future all of our future videos that are coming up and uh, we will probably see you again um, next weekend yep. we've been trying to do one video a weekend right now during the week it's tough where our schedules are just yeah but don't forget to like uh, uh, join our Facebook and our Instagram. Yeah, actually, yeah, Facebook. We have a Facebook page. It's the uh, Midlife Crazy Cruise Community. It'll be linked down below. There'll be a link to it down below. And then uh, Instagram at midlife underscore crazy. It'll be linked below as well. And Twitter, midlife underscore crazy crazy <laughs> and i'll put all those uh, in the description below so. and if you have any comments or suggestions or there's things that you think are essential that we haven't covered please by all means leave us a message or a note and we appreciate your feedback and we're always open and welcome to it aren't we absolutely absolutely so, so. from brad and i what we'd like to say honey we are midlife crazy we'll talk bye everybody we'll talk to you soon <laughs>